Hi and welcome to my Flower Power coloring series and welcome to the first part of this coloring tutorial. Throughout this Flower Power series I will show you how I color different petals and different flowers and how I do it my way and in the first video of the series I will show you how I color yellow petals um, namely daffodils and for that um, I will use a picture from Leila Dalis the flower year which is a gorgeous little book and it's a hardback book with um, several flowers as the title indicates um, you can color flowers from every month so this book um, gives you a journey through the flowers from January flowers and um, fruits and other plants which are characteristic for each month and obviously I used a March picture for my daffodil color along so um, I plan on doing uh, some other colorings, coloring some other flowers as well but first let's see how I color a uh, yellow flower coloring yellow petals and especially yellow shadows is quite tricky yellow is a bright seasonal color and adding shadows to petals is crucial if you want to give it shape for this um, color or for this flower I used polychromos and I will show you the equivalence of the colors in Prisma Colors. You can take a screenshot if you like. And I will also write all the color combinations into the description below. So um, back to the color and some color um, technology or how should I say it? Um, oh, the word is not coming to me, I'm sorry. Okay, so yellow is a relatively light color, even a dark yellow is relatively light compared to a blue color, right, or a purple color. And the shadows on yellow are relatively light as well. This means that yellow shadows need to be handled with care so they don't become too dark. Unfortunately, the color often used for shadows such as espresso, black, paints gray, are too dark. So a neutral version of the yellow and a muted shadows are needed to keep our flower light and to keep it yellow, even though it has shadows. For me personally, um, doing shadows on yellow uh, was really difficult and I had to figure out and look up um, on some websites and some coloring books some how some theories how I could color a uh, yellow shadow so that's what I'm doing today so back to business when working with shadows on yellow a brownish greenish gray is needed and this gray is also called Davy Gray which is a color combination of light earthy green and a nougat a grayish brown color and I experimented and if I mix these two colors from polychromos I get my Davy Gray I will bring you closer guys so you can see better so this is the gray color we are looking for for the shadows and however as you can see this combination of grayish brown and earth green is slightly green on top 
um, and um, yes, it appears green on top of yellow. And to balance that, I add always a little of yellows of the yellows complementary color, which is violet. So if you want to balance and create a neutral color for your yellow, um, it's advisable to use the complementary color of yellow, which is violet. And so, to be clear, complementary colors are those on the opposite side of the color wheel. So if you look at the color wheel, if you type in color wheel in Google, you will find several pictures about uh, color wheels. And so when combined, two complementary colors will balance each other and create a neutral shadow. So that's why I chose violet for my yellow flower. Okay, I spoke your ears off. Let's see the color combinations. I will use polis, as I said before, and for that I use the polychromous white, a light yellow glaze, light chrome yellow, earth green, nougat, blue violet, and you can use a delft blue color for the very dark places, but be careful to use it very lightly and less is more when doing shadows for light colors. So keep in mind to always use a light hand, go in lightly and I would use extra sharp uh, pencil tips to make shadows. And for Prismas, the alternatives are uh, Prisma White, Lemon Yellow, Canary Yellow, Saladin Green instead of Earth Green, Sandbar Brown instead of Nougat, Violet instead of Blue Violet, and Dioxazine Purple Hue or Delft Blue. Okay, so you can do the same technique with Prisma colors. Be aware that Prismas um, build a wax bloom more easily and faster than Polychromos, so you can't go in with as many layers with Prismas as you would with Polychromos. So keep that in mind when using Prismas. And use a light uh, hand light pressure as well always that's my advice so let's start let's go on with our lovely daffodil mm. i felt i'm feeling happy just um looking at it and while i was coloring this piece i already felt happy Oh, hey, I apologize. I will have to put in a blank white paper so the camera won't crazy, won't go crazy. Now, we have a sip of water and we will go on. And I will zoom you in more now. That, that's it. It's great. Okay, as I said, use a sharp nib or a sharp end and um, is smear really easily so I would definitely go in with my 
the rubber into lactic razor or any other eraser and erase the smeared parts. Oh my god. Great. So white um, white poly first and we'll go over a small area first here. Yeah, that's our highlight color, obviously. Next is our light yellow glaze. And I will start here. And I will go around the edges with yellow, with our lightest yellow. white just to combine the colors and light chrome yellow or third color hope you can see it well just lightly light yellow glaze Just mixing the two yellows layering them slowly and with patience Doing this flower power uh, tutorial series was a really impulsive decision of mine. <laughs> um, I started to color my picture in jewelry box from Hannah Carson for the HK5 project. And um, it's a flower picture and I enjoyed it so much that uh, the idea just came to me to make a flower series as I love flowers and I feel quite confident coloring them so why not making a series of it so that's what I do today right the, that's the plan for today Now, or earth green, go really lightly, just a touch. This book is um, really tiny or small compared to other books and the flowers are small as well so I had to zoom in 
extra. So you have a chance to see what I'm doing. I forgot to show you my picture I colored in this book. Hopefully I won't forget it. So light chrome yellow again and I'm just putting down more layers. This will be the darkest part as it's linear to the middle. Right here and just a few strokes of white in the middle area and nougat. you will find this video helpful back to my earth green mixing together earth green and nougat to get my gray color Hopefully, yes, it's starting to look gray or a uh, greenish brownish gray. So um, if you like flowers, um, plants, um, what is it, coloring fruits, berries, uh, I highly recommend this lovely little book. It's filled with botanicals. The paper is gorgeous. paper the pages are quite small so even though the pictures are really intricate um, you have a chance to <laughs> finish it in a normal time frame okay light chrome yellow
apologize. Yes. Bite strokes. And or complementary color violet, which is which I chose blue violet today for this flower. Hope I, I apologize. Uh, now, okay. So as I said before, less is more when it comes to coloring yellow or light colors. That's something I need to practice myself. Uh, not to use too dark colors when I'm coloring something light as a daffodil. You don't always need a black color. I'm sorry. Just going over the edges and now a new gut again. Blending the purple and the nougat color together. This way, yippee. Um, earth green. Top of the nougat, and yellow, light chrome yellow which is our main yellow color. It's a really beautiful bright yellow. Strokes. Okay. And um, paints gray just for the this part for the dark, dark, dark part of the flower. Opa. Um, nougat. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, and um, 
and blue violet. Just in case. And the yellow again. And the same strategy along the petal. Light yellow glaze. It's advisable to use strokes and the same strokes or um, following the line of the line art, the flower. So the line, if the line is uh, vertical, obviously you shouldn't go in um, very much with horizontal. as you would do with hair, I mean following the lines. I would do that. Now white. light chrome yellow and sharpen my pencil so how about you do you like um, coloring flowers um, oops. plants trees I know it's not for everybody, but I like them. So if you're a flower fan, I'm sure that you would like um, Joanna Bestford's Word of Flower coloring book, as well as Maria Troel's books are filled with flowers and little animals which I love and even Clara Markova's books especially the new one the fairy miracles one has plenty of flowers and jewelry box from Hannah Carson as well Lightest yellow again, light yellow glaze. And white for the middle. light chrome yellow again and 
just to make sure that everything is yellow enough yellow in the ends the outlines using light layers and um, light yellow glaze and white again so earth green I love how this color, this earth green, creates a shadow over the yellow, it's like magic. But it's quite tricky because um, first I would have used a blue color, or if I would have, would have to guess, but if you think about it, if you put a blue color over a yellow one, it will turn green. And uh, I mean really green. And we need a neutral color, a neutral greenish, brownish, grayish color for the shadows otherwise it will turn to a leaf a greenish yellow leaf which we don't want right So when in doubt, always look up the color wheel and look at the complementary color of your first color and then you will get shadow color. Back to light chrome yellow. You can also put in some random strokes as I did here, like here, um, because if you look at a flower in um, real life or in a photography, you will see that uh, it's not one single color, a petal, it's, it's a combination of green, blue, it can have several shadows or colors in them. The lightest yellow now and white. New gut.
here. Carefully. Go in as with a stroke. green green and yellow Lighter yellow and white. And now to the complementary violet color. Let's see what happens. There's our shadow. Awesome. And here as well. Blue violet. This part will be darker than the rest as it's fully. In shadow. Okay. No cut.
just mixing the colors earth green And yellow. Okay, and violet again, just here. Here. Awesome. And a little bit of paint gray here. Just to accent. here as well. If you want to make it even more highlighted, you can use your Posca pen, the PC1MR, the white, and give in some strokes. For example, here, sorry, can go some points, some little here. Awesome. Maybe a brown stroke to look more realistic. Okay, so let's go on. This part will be tricky with the many leaves here. I happened it happened I happened to find the most difficult piece of puzzle. Well done. Okay, very nice. So white first. light yellow glaze always try to keep it super sharp and while I'm coloring this flower thought of um, reading aloud some 
symbolics and meaning of the color yellow. So we could have a chat about the yellow color. And I'm sure that many of you love talking about colors and find them fascinating being a colorist, right? You are looking at colors make me happy. Don't don't have to color. Just look at them. Fantasize about what colors I will use in my next picture. Looking at color palettes and color schemes. It's a really great free time activity if you ask me. Um, light chrome yellow. Do a stroke here. Light chrome yellow. shadows here as well along this line lighter yellow and white Let's see the color psychology of yellow. I find that amazing. I find this really entertaining. Um, I have to find the website. No, this wasn't it. Mm. of colors was it hmm. maybe this was it why can't I find it hey Maybe this was it. Oh, I have to look at my PC. I'm sorry. Just fast forward. I'm here, still here, I apologize. Obviously I can't find it right now, why would I? When I need it. Mm. Okay, I have it. Oh, 
Okay, now. So let's see yellow. Okay, I'm back. Okay, white. And um, earth green is my next color. So yellow is the color of the mind and the intellect. The color yellow relates to acquired knowledge. It is the color which resonates with the left or logic side of the brain, stimulating our mental faculties and creating mental agility. Being the lightest hue of the spe spectrum, the color psychology of yellow is uplifting and illuminating, offering hope, happiness, cheerfulness and fun. Awesome. Yellow inspires original thought and inquisitiveness. We knew that, right? Yellow is creative from a mental aspect, the color of new ideas, helping us to find new ways of doing things. Yellow is the best color to create enthusiasm for life. Hey and can awaken greater confidence and optimism. The color yellow loves a challenge, particularly a mental challenge. We we'll go along the shadows. Well, as you can see, working with polis is quite uh, time-consuming experience. You need to be patient. Within the meaning of colors, yellow is the great communicator and loves to talk. Yellow is the color of the networker and the journalist. Yellow is the scientist constantly analyzing, looking at both sides before making a decision. Yellow is the entertainer, the comic, the clown. <laughs> Interesting. Obviously, this is not rocket science what I'm reading it's just something fun and interesting at least for me <gasps> but I think that our soul our souls like to communicate in colors and being drawn to colors has a message in itself like if you're sad or stressed it's more likely that you choose a yellow color or uh, a bright color or if you are really sad and you need, I don't know, some time to get over what is 
concerning you or um, what is currently hard for you or make you feel depressed then it can happen that you want to color something really dark this way getting it out of your system so to speak uh, light chrome yellow The color yellow can be anxiety producing as it is fast moving and can cause us to feel agitated. Yellow has a tendency to make you more mentally anal analytical and critical. Sorry. Um, this includes being self-critical as well as critical to others. Okay. Yellow is non-emotional, coming from the head rather than the heart. Hmm, interesting. Yellow is rather to the ego and our sense of self-worth, how to feel, how we how. <laughs> To how we feel about ourselves and how we are perceived by others. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with coloring and reading at one time. <laughs> Yellow is the most highly visible of all colors, which is why it is used for pedestrian crossings. Take note of the crossings which are marked in white. They are less easy to see than those marked yellow. Okay, so um, nougat. If you are going through a lot of changes in your life, you may find you can tolerate the yellow color very well. This will usually pass. It just means that you are having trouble coping with all the changes at the moment and yellow vibrates too fast for you. Introduce green or a soft orange into your life for a while to balance and restore your energies. Many older people uh, don't respond well to large amounts of yellow because it's, it vibrates too fast. <laughs> New gut, still. I love this shadow, it's so cool. Okay, so let's see positive and negative traits, keywords. 
in connection with yellow. Multitasking here. <sighs> Vicky. Um, earth green again. So, positive keywords include optimism, cheerfulness, enthusiasm, fun, good humored, confidence, originality, creativity, challenging, academic, analytical, wisdom, and logic. Negative keywords. I bet you can guess some, like um, being critical, judgmental, impatient, being impulsive, being egotistical, pessimistic, spiteful, cowardly, deceitful, and lacking compassion. Hmm. As you can see, the colors mix eventually. And we'll get our shadow color. Okay, um, light chrome yellow. Mixing the colors together. Okay, um, light yellow. Yellow represents mind and intellect, happiness and fun, and communication of new ideas. White. Okay. Let's see the blue violet color just a few strokes we'll need it here for sure
and here. Just checking the camera. If I'm still in the camera, yes, I am. So, a light layer, light pressure. here and there okay. paints grey for the darkest part for the shadow area I love new gut. <laughs> Speaking of which. New gut is awesome. and white Posca for the highlights, just a few strokes.
and we'll get just a little okay I will stop now <laughs> it's a never ending story <laughs> Paint the grey, just to emphasize, here. Okay, so that's all. I wanted to show you today a quick demonstration about how I color a yellow flower petal or a daffodil and what color combinations you can use to make a shadow on a yellow petal and what a color wheel, what does color combination and um, what color was it? Uh, complementary color, what does it mean? And for the end, I just want to read out the yellow um, personality traits. So to not to keep it un, unsaid or unfinished, what I started to read along, read aloud, okay? So, um, let's see, just have to find it. So, personality color yellow. Why you may not exhibit all the character traits of a personality color yellow? If this is your favorite color, you will find yourself somewhere in the description. If your favorite color is yellow, you have a happy disposition and are cheerful and fun to be with. You are creative, often being the one who comes up with new ideas. You can be very critical of yourself as well as others. You are a perfectionist. You analyze everything all the time and are methodical in your thinking. With a yellow personality, you are impulsive and make quick decisions, but often out of anxiety. You have a strong independent streak in you. You are selective with your choice of friends, keeping a small group of close, like-minded friends rather than being involved in team events or large social gatherings. You use your mind to achieve your goals rather than your physical energy. You have a modern outlook. New technology doesn't face you. You communicate well on a mental level. You are good at networking and getting information out of others. Although you find it easy to make money, you tend to spend it rapidly and unwisely. You like to think you are intelligent and well educated with knowledge about many topics. You are good at thinking. Oh, sorry, you are good at anything that involves the mind. You are a smart dresser and always dress to impress. You can be deceitful and stubborn if living from a neg negative perspective. You can also be arrogant and snobbish. Your deepest need is for logical order in your everyday life and to be able to express your individuality by using your logical mind to inspire and create new ideas. If you dislike yellow, you are practical and down to earth. If you dislike yellow, you may not be able to cope with change at this point of your life. You prefer to keep your feet firmly planted on the ground and are skeptical of new ideas that haven't been proven. You like to think before you leap, you are not impulsive or spontaneous. So, that was our personality color yellow. Awesome. I already read out some colors loud in my Maria Troller color along. I believe it was the green and the red color. So now I read the yellow color and I'm sure I will um, read some other colors out loud in my next video. So thank you for joining. Again, I used Polychromos and I colored in the flower year by Leila Dooley.
I hope I pronounced it out right. So, please let me know what you thought of the video or what you think of it, if it's useful for you. Uh, if you have any suggestions what kind of flowers you would like me to color, please write me. And if you liked it, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye!